last call in Milwaukee could come uh, a lot later, at least for a short period of time. One proposal is being floated by a state representative that would extend bar hours for big events. And we are talking about drinking into the wee hours of the morning. Fox 6 is Brett Lemoyne live at Pfizer Forum, where the DNC will take place in July with how the changes could impact this convention. Brett? Yeah, and you could really make the argument that these changes are a direct result of the convention here. Right now, last call is at 2 a.m., but one proposal suggests giving municipalities the power to decide when to extend bar hours without state approval. Well, preparation for the Democratic National Convention has been underway for months. There's still one lingering request many bars and restaurants have before the DNC hits Milwaukee in July. We want the bars to stay open until 4 a.m. That's what we've seen as best practices throughout other cities who've hosted this convention. Peggy Williams Smith is the president and CEO of Visit Milwaukee. She says her team has been backing extended bar time since the convention was first announced. Those people who've been on the floor all day want somewhere to go out. They want to celebrate. They want to celebrate the end of their day's festivities. Staying open an extra two hours would require a change to state law. Extra hours are not mandatory, but many welcome the option. The Wisconsin Restaurant Association is all for it. In a statement, the group's president tells us this is a win-win for small businesses in Wisconsin. It is an opportunity to maximize visitor spending and help restaurants, bars, and hotels meet customer demand. Because many delegates will be staying in hotels outside of Milwaukee, the impact is potentially huge. According to Visit Milwaukee, hospitality represents 52,000 jobs in the city and 200,000 jobs statewide. To only have a conversation about the DNC tells us short because uh, we will have so many events that are that will be happening. State Representative David Bowen of Milwaukee is drafting a proposal that would allow municipalities the ability up to four times per year to extend bar hours without state approval. Bowen says another proposal tied only to the DNC is likely to fail because it's coupled with a requirement for wedding barns to obtain liquor licenses. We mitigate all of the public safety concerns. All the other concerns are things that can be worked out, but let's not sell ourselves short. Now, there is some urgency here to get this proposal buttoned down uh, because the Assembly and the Senate are only in session for another couple of weeks, February and March, respectively. And then, of course, the convention will take place here in July. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Brett, I have a feeling this could possibly hurt the attendance at delegate breakfasts the next day. <laughs> <laughs> late nights for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, some later later mornings too. Yeah. Bloody Mary's at breakfast. They'll be up and running for the You're next like, day. All right, thanks, Brett. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah.